it's Summerween. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jules and this is a Summerween reading vlog. I have my Summerween merch on. It is the cutest. I am on sprints with Gabby already. I'm going to start the first reading sprint here in a minute and I will, um, I will post the actual music video to Patreon so that you can see it if it didn't come through an HD. I'm not really sure um, how that ended up coming through. Um, so hopefully it came out HD, but, um, but oh my gosh, how exciting. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> for that music video for me, that was very fun. Oh, so fun. <laughs> that was so fun. So fun. Yeah, so fun. Summer Wayne Taylor Crossroads is always welcome, right? <laughs> I know, I do love this community so much. Of course, I am working, so I'm not quite off work yet, and I haven't got any reading done because I've been editing and posting videos and all the things. I'm off work in about a half an hour. I need to run to the library because two of the books that I want to read for Summer Wayne are still at the library. Since I do not have any of my physical books yet, one book that I'm going to read on audio because it's not available <laughs> in print anywhere. I couldn't find an ebook for it. They, the library, they were all checked out. So, um, so I'm just doing this on audio. So I have started Gray After Dark, and by start I mean literally started. I've listened to like one chapter. <laughs> so um, Gray After Dark by Noelle Eiley. So a girl gets sidelined from her dreams of being an Olympic gold. Uh, she takes a summer job as a mountain guest worker. And so she likes to go out. She's going to try and recoup from her. I, I believe she has an injury that happened. And so she's trying to like retrain. And so she goes out for these like morning runs. Um, and the synopsis says that she gets abducted during one of those morning runs. And she's held captive in a desolate off-grid cabin. So that's what I'm going to start with. I know it's Friday, so it's weird starting a vlog on a Friday, but um, I'm just going to start here and I will just vlog my whole Summerween experience because honestly, I probably am not going to do anything exciting. Sites just coming back with some reading updates. So like I said, um, Gabby's doing sprints now. I think Leah Beth has some sprints tonight, so I may do some sprinting on there while I listen to this and do some diamond painting. Yeah, I will take you along for whatever journey this might be and we'll see what we get up to. Hello, I'm back with an update. So I did not read much yesterday. Uh, I ended up going on a motorcycle ride with my husband last night for like three and a half hours. <laughs> my bottom was not used to that. Me and my husband used to go riding all the time. So like I don't actually ride the motorcycle. I'm just the backpack on his bike. <laughs> So we took a really long ride last night when we grabbed dinner and it was fun, but my legs are also sore from like keeping tight so that I, you know, stay on the bike. Anyway, so yeah, I'm feeling that today, but so I unfortunately did not get much reading done. So today I have gotten about 40% into Gray After Dark and I'm really liking it. So we're following Miley. She has gone, um, so she is an Olympic competitor and she was injured in an accident and so she's trying to heal from that so we are following her as she is at this job at this mountain lodge um and right now she's just kind of like helping out wherever like in the the kitchen or you know whatever they're, wherever they're needing her but on her off time she is taking runs on these trails in the woods and one of the guys that is also working there with her who is there year round I believe he's like you should be really careful about bears you need to take bear spray and so he ends up giving her some bear spray and he's like you need to take this with you and you know one night they're sitting at the campfire and they're telling her you need to be careful going out on your own because you know there was a girl who was attacked and they never found her body. They, she was attacked by a bear and they never found her body. Obviously from the synopsis, we know that she gets abducted. So she gets abducted <laughs> and it is so cringe. Like these guys that have abducted her are just creepy, creepy. <laughs> so I'm getting all the ick from them. They're so creepy, but it's like, you know, that's, it's definitely like, a situation you would never want to be in. She was on a run, but then she stopped and took a swim. And so they have taken her from there and they are making her walk back to wherever their house is, which is obviously deep in this forest. So yeah, so that's where we're at now. They've got her chained up. Um, she's there. There is somebody else at this cabin who's kind of like 
keeping a watch on her. And it seems that they're not wanting to like kill her. They're wanting to like groom her for something. So they are cleaning her up and they're basically, from what I'm gathering, they're going to try and brainwash her into, you know, whatever this is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm liking it. I'm having a good time with it. So that is all the updates I have for that. Um, I am tonight, my daughter is taking a lash certification class. So I'm gonna be her model while she puts false lashes on me and takes them off. <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be sitting for a couple hours. So I am planning on listening to the rest of this book, hopefully. So I will be back with my final thoughts on it. So already summerween day two and no books completed. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I am just chilling in these little chairs. I'm gonna do some reading while I wait for my daughter to come get me. I'm gonna be her model to do her lashes. So we're just gonna chill here and read. Hello, it is Sunday. I'm back with an update. So I meant to take a little video clip in the room where my daughter was doing her class to see all the tables set up or whatever. But then, you know, I didn't want random people to be like, why are you taking video of me? <laughs> and then I also just forgot. So I had to lay on that table while she practiced. So they're not completely done. This is not a full set. She was only able to do like, um, like one little row on both. It was just a, a practice of putting them on an actual person. So she's like a silicone practice thing that has like eyeballs on it. <laughs> so like, not like physical eyeballs, but like closed eyeballs with eyelashes. Then she has to put the fake lash extensions on them. So I will insert a little clip of what it looks like so you know. They had to do like a complete, like full fluffy eyelash set. She had to put one on. That is way more than I would want on my eyelash. <laughs> it's more of like a dramatic, like a butterfly look at eyelash, which is not something that I would be into. Like I'm perfectly content just doing a couple little lines of them. My daughter did say my eyelashes are wonky. Like they just kind of like go whichever way. So she was kind of having a hard time with it. I was like, sorry. Anyway, so today I have just been reading. I did finish Gray After Dark. It was, it was something. It was a crazy ride. The, the guys that abducted her are just cringe and gross. So there is definitely abuse, like verbally, physically, um, there's also SA in it. There's also just like just the place is dirty. Like they don't clean themselves. They don't clean anything. They're living off the land. Unfortunately with thrillers you can't really talk about much because like I would totally be giving like a lot away. Like I would be spoiling things if I tell you like what happened. So just know we're following along as she is chained up in this cabin and going through the day-to-day -day process of what she's having to endure and how she's going to figure out how to get away. And there are, um, there are also chapters of her, people that are looking for her. It kind of goes through that too. And yeah, it was, it was a crazy ride, but I enjoyed it. So I did give that four stars. This is the second book I'm picking up. The Summer She Went Missing by Chelsea Acaso. So it says, Paige Redmond has always felt lucky to spend her summers in Clearwater Ridge, sunning at the waterfalls and partying at the mansions of the rich vacationers there. The family of her best friend, Audrey Covington, has one of these homes. And last year, when Paige finally got close with Audrey's gorgeous brother, Dylan, she was sure it would be the best summer ever. Except Audrey didn't seem quite like herself. Then one night, she didn't come home. Though Audrey wasn't the first girl to disappear in Clearwater Ridge, she left behind more lies than clues. Now, one summer later, her case has gone cold and nobody, least of all Paige, can make sense of what happened. When Paige stumbles across a secret hidden in Audrey's room, however, it changes everything she thought she knew about last summer. 
She and Dylan set out on their own investigation, discovering things even the police don't know about the people of Clearwater Ridge. But tracking down missing girls, girls who might be beyond saving by now, means entering a world far darker than Paige has ever imagined. And if she isn't careful, she'll become the next girl to vanish. So I've just been lazy today, doing some reading, and I have been diamond painting. Um, so I'm going to continue diamond painting. And so last night, since I was at the class with my daughter, we didn't have pizza night like we normally do. My husband had to just go get something. So we are doing pizza night tonight. So that is my plan. Pizza and reading and diamond painting. So last night after I was back from the last thing with my daughter, I did was able to make it back in time to do the Patreon movie night with Gabby and we watched Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I had never seen it before. There were some pretty comical parts in it. So not your average like slasher movie. I mean, there was definitely bodies, 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 dead bodies, <laughs> lots of blood, um, but also some little comedy things thrown in there. So yeah, so that was fun. Always have a good time on Gabby's movie nights. Everybody on there is so fun and we just chat. So Gabby actually will do a live of her watching the movie. We all press play at the same time and then we just all chat together while we're watching it. So it's always a fun time. So I will come back when I have some thoughts on this. It has been a day. It is Monday <clears throat> and it is busy. So Friday wasn't very busy and I think because probably a lot of people were off work and just not doing stuff. So it was actually slow on Friday with calls, but everybody's calling today. Everybody. <sighs> so I have had my butt chained to this chair almost all day. I've gotten up to go to the bathroom once, let the dogs out, um, and to make my shake. Shake of the day! <laughs> Tried a new combo. It is so good, y'all. So I did ice, Fairlife milk, which if you don't know, Fairlife milk has protein in it. Um, so that's always a go-to if you're making like smoothies with milk. That's the way to go. So ice, Fairlife milk, a packet of the chocolate brownie batter protein powder and a handful of frozen strawberries and then a little pour of the white chocolate raspberry creamer, the Chobani flavor. I love that stuff. It's like my favorite creamer. Okay, so update, other than being extremely busy today, I have last year's Summerween merch on. I didn't put my ghost earrings in. Pause. Okay, I'm back. Look at them. Aren't they so cute? They're like iridescent kind of see-through. Anyway, I've, I've got all my ghosty stuff on now. And this is a book sleeve from a past summer from one of the weens. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? It's a little cat ghost. So cute. So we are on day four and I've only completed one book <laughs> so far. So I'm reading the summer she went missing. I am on page 140. So almost halfway through. So just quick update on this. It's kind of feeling Scooby-Doo-ish, <laughs> which I love Scooby-Doo. It's not a thriller, really. I, I don't, uh, anyway. So we're following Paige. Paige's family visits Audrey's family. Their parents were friends. So every summer they go visit. So she's, she's there. She has a crush on the older brother, Dylan. And um, which, Audrey knows that and she kind of teases her about it but she's like oh one day maybe you'll be my sister you know so I think she's okay if like they ever did get together so they're older and it seems like Dylan might this year have an interest in her so um she's hoping to spend some time with him well Audrey had a 
summer romance the year before with a guy. And so Paige had asked if she was, if they were going to hang out again. She's like, no, I don't think so. She's like, you know, things didn't end bad, but not great. Anyway, so they go to this like summer bash, like started the summer party. That guy's there. Audrey goes off with that guy and she says they are going to hang out this summer. So between Audrey working and as much time as she's hanging out with Nate, she's not really hanging out with Paige, but then Paige and Dylan are starting to talk and hang out. So she's also, so on one hand, she's like excited about that, but then she's like, where I want to hang out with my best friend. So Audrey's kind of acting distant and doesn't really, is not really hanging out with them as much. She's gone saying she's at work, um, or hanging out with Nate and then she goes missing. So, and then they find out that some of those things weren't true. <laughs> so now we are a year later, they go back. The parents stayed because that's where she went missing from. So they didn't want to like leave. So they are there. So they stayed there trying, you know, while they're doing their search and whatever. And so the family is back and it's kind of awkward because Dylan and her did not end up, you know, they, they, Seemed like they were probably going to be get together. Paige went into Audrey's room just to kind of, you know, reminisce or whatever, or like, you know, she misses her friend and she finds something. So then her and Dylan start doing some investigating and now they feel like the police aren't doing as much as they should be to find her. And so they start doing their own investigating. But that's it. <laughs> so yeah, it's very, it, it's very, there's something really thriller about it. I don't know. It just seems like some kids hanging out and asking other friends like what they know. That's it. It's almost like a cozy mystery, but a YA cozy mystery. So anyway, that's where we're at. But, um, so I have only got to listen. Um, so, uh, Heather from Books and Heather is doing sprints today. So I have been, I have her sprints pulled up on my laptop while I'm working. So between work, I'm trying to listen to this and, you know, chat with them. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. So I'm hoping, man, so I'm on sprints tonight with Jess. So I'm hoping to get a good chunk of this read tonight to where I could possibly finish this by tomorrow. And then I would like to pick up there's someone inside your house. If I can get three books read this week for Summerween, that would be good. That's my update for now. I'm going back to work. I will update later. Good morning. It's Tuesday. This is day five of Summerween. I finished this book last night. I am tired. I was about to be so mad at myself this morning because... I knew yesterday that I was almost out of coffee and I was like, not enough to make like a whole pot. So I was like, I have to go get coffee. I was rushing around last night after work because I was on Jesse's sprints last night. So I wanted to make sure I had time to go to the gym, get home, make dinner. And I completely forgot to go get coffee. So I went out to make coffee this morning and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I do have coffee as you can see. Because I thought I was going to have to make iced coffee. And I don't like iced coffee in the mornings. I want a nice, hot, steaming, piping, hot cup of coffee in the mornings. That's just what I like. I had to make instant coffee. It's not bad. It's still Folgers. It's just instant. And it's funny because we have it to make cookies. There's a cookie recipe that we make that uses instant coffee in it. I was like digging through the cabinets. And I was like, what? And I found that. So... All is well, all is well. Anyway, let's talk about this. I gave this three stars. <laughs> the last maybe 70-ish pages was good, was a thriller. Like I enjoyed to the fullest the last 70 pages of this book, but the rest of it, 90% of this book was just a like, sleuthing mystery type thing so just a lot of going to parties asking friends and who did she talk to who did you see her with 
they ended up going and finding the first missing girl's mother because people kept saying she's not missing she's not missing they've heard from her and they're like well then where is she and no one's ever said that she was ever found and so obviously they're like well maybe she doesn't want to be found or there's a reason she doesn't want to be found basically you know they go talk to one person who leads them to another person who leads them to another person it's literally just going to all these people and asking questions and then like them trying to put the puzzle together that was the majority of this book so it wasn't bad it's just not what I was going into or what I was wanting out of this book and my probably last book for this no I say that but I don't think so so we still have three days left of Summerween I don't know how fast I will read this um I did find the audio for this so I, I may get through this a lot quicker I may pick up another one of my summer thrillers because I'm doing a vlog for I'm doing a summer thriller vlog so if I finish this one then I may pick this one up this one's just under 300 pages and this one's just over 300 pages so can I get both of these read in three days maybe so tonight I'm doing a craft night with Gwen so we have like a little fun patreon craft night thing that we're gonna do um so I will be listening to my audio while I do that but that's the only other thing I have going this week. Um, Keisha has Friends Thursday. Hannah has Friends Friday. So really just getting on and doing some reading. I don't have any fun, exciting plans in my personal life. <laughs> so anyway, that's my only update right now. I will get back with you later. <music> Happy day six of Summerween. I'm eating breakfast. It never fails. My oatmeal always boils over in the microwave. And I try and watch it. <laughs> but then sometimes I get squirreled like I did today because I was Marco Poling with some friends. And next thing I know, it's all over the place. Super annoying. Anyway, so last night I was on craft night with Gwen and I'm gonna show you what I made. I, I entered a little clip of us making it. This is what we made. I went ahead and brushed purple on the outside of it. So you can still kind of see the shell like behind the coloring. So just like, you know, color washed it. And then the, here's the inside of it. So it's supposed to be like a jewelry, like a little jewelry holder um, or whatever you want it to be. But yeah, so this is how mine turned out. Mine is way deeper though. So it was hard to get this. So I do have like, there's like little creases and stuff, which you can't tell unless you're like <laughs> right on it. But um, yeah, it turned out really good. Um, I'm not going to use it as a jewelry holder. I'm just going to have it. I put it in my little, um, I have like a tiered thing of crystals that I have. So it's just going to hang out on my crystal stand. Anyway, but it was fun. I was laughing because I was like, for someone who is good at crafts, I felt like I was like, not. I felt like a beginner. <laughs> but some of the people like Gwen's, hers was like she'd got on Amazon and they were like flatter. So it was easier for her to get her tissue paper in there. It was a hot mess express, but we did it. It turned out good. So I also was listening to There's Someone Inside Your House. I am 50% through. Um, it's okay. It starts off with a bang with the girl. She gets killed and then they're at school and it's, it's almost like a version of Scream. Like the kids at school are getting picked off, but nobody's in a ghost face mask. <laughs> so after the first girl gets killed, it takes like forever for anything else to happen. They're literally just at school and like hanging out and doing teenage kid stuff and I'm just like okay so what are, what's what's happening here so and then another person dies does die and that person gets killed at the school like after hours when no one's there and then 
again, another space where there's just kids talking about like, oh, who could it be? And like going through like who doesn't like who and what they may want revenge on somebody. I'm thinking it's another classmate. And then another couple is hanging out and they get attacked, not really, they're not realizing that there's, you know, that there were two people there. The person thought that the girl was alone. So Makani is who we're following and she obviously did something, something bad happened where she lived with her parents because now she's with her grandma and she must have, something bad must have happened because it, it's talking about, you know, like hopefully they don't find out what happened, you know, or whatever. So there's, there's something suspicious about what she did. So that's where I'm at. So I am going to hopefully try and finish this before this evening. And then um, Liv's doing some summer wean sprints tonight. So I'm going to get on there. Like I said, I want to try and start summer's edge. Anyway, I'll be back later with some updates. Protein shake of the day. It's like a pina colada. So I did ice, a ready-made premier protein cake batter flavor. I added frozen pineapples and a splash of coconut cream creamer. It is literally like a pina colada. And then I'm also having some pretzel thins with, I found dill pickle hummus. So good. That's my lunch today. And updates. I have 80 pages left of this. So we are finally at the part where Makana is explaining to her friends what happens. So after her and Ollie got attacked in her home, it, their names are all over the news now and she's afraid that someone's going to find out who she is. So she tells her friend about what happened and it was like a, a hazing incident where somebody almost died, but it caused a lot of like outrage in the community where she lived and like a lot of hate. So that is why she moved. They say they know who attacked them because Ollie saw his face. So I don't know if that's really who was killing all the people or if there's more than one person. But anyway, so yeah, that's my update. I have 80 pages left. I'm going to finish this pretty soon, hopefully. So I will be back with my final thoughts on this. I'm back with my final update on this. I went to the gym and actually finished this while I was working out. I had my headphones in and just working out and listening to this book. And I'm going to settle on a three star for this. Like, I just didn't have the best time with it. It just seemed like it jumped from like the beginning, like there was a killing, everybody at school was talking about it, and then it jumped to like a teenage romance, and then more kids started dying, and then people are just getting picked off, and then everyone's starting to get paranoid, no one's going out, people are their clothes and places down, because they don't know like who the next target might be. Her boyfriend Ollie, saw the face of the guy who it was so they knew who it was which I kind of didn't really like because there were more murders after that and they are pretty like brutal murders like very in-depth they tell you about that which I didn't mind that at all um but I didn't like that you knew who it was I kind of would have rather just gone having all the murders and the suspense of not knowing who's who's going to be next how they're going to die all that and then have like the big reveal at the end and it didn't have that so finished that came home i made dinner i made protein donuts and Liv is having sprints tonight um and she has the coziest little ambiance it looks super fall halloweenish i am so ready for fall and halloween it's my favorite season Anyway, so I started Summer's Edge. Let me tell you what it's about. Emily Joyner was inseparable from the others. A sister, a best friend, a lover, a rival. Summers at the lake house without Emily were unthinkable until the fire burned the lake house to ashes with Emily inside. A year later, it's in Emily's honor that Chelsea and her four friends decide to return. The house awaits them meticulously rebuilt. Only Chelsea is haunted by ghostly visions. Golden Boy Chase plays Peacemaker when loner Ryan stirs up old hurts, which has perfect hostess Kennedy on edge as eerie events lead to a stunning accusation. Emily's death wasn't an accident, and the person responsible is hidden within the clues of the lake house. One of their friends dies in this fire. They've rebuilt the house, 
and all the friends are back at the lake house a year later but kennedy didn't invite them not that she doesn't want them there like but she so like none of the friends have really talked to each other over this time but then all the friends got invites to come at hang out at the lake house kennedy thought ryan sent them all ryan is the brother of the girl that died and he's like no i didn't send them she's like well i didn't send them so they all received these invitations but nobody's claiming to have sent them that's all i really know i'm 45 pages in and they're all there and it's kind of awkward and yeah that is my that's the only update i have so far it's a really quick read so i should definitely finish this for the last day of summerween tomorrow good morning it is the last day of summerween um i got my merch on it's so cute i can't wear my sweatshirts in my office during the day because it gets hot hot in my office but in the mornings when i first wake up i can wear them so i thought i'd do a little update real quick before i get ready for work and while i make my coffee so for not a lot happening the book is actually pretty pretty creepy like there's some like eerie parts in it so i'm 40 percent through i got 40 percent through last night it's reading really fast so um we're following chelsea and chelsea and ryan ryan is the brother of the girl that died in the fire so they're outside talking and he's like i believe you that you hear her because i do too so apparently the two of them are hearing Emily and they're like hang on I'm gonna move you guys over here so I can like just kind of chill so the two of them think it's something haunted the other ones are like no it can't be it's somebody here's just messing with us well they think it's Ryan the brother she keeps finding these tarot cards that have like hidden meanings to them and then she ended up finding this little like flip picture book you know like if you make like little images and you have pieces of paper, you put them all together and you flip through them and it like shows a scene. It was like not a good scene, basically like depicted people dying. So we're just kind of at the point now where like everybody's like suspecting everybody. Chelsea's like being very adamant that she's like, I feel like you guys are hiding something. Why can't you just tell me what happened that night? Because she was the last one out of the house and she doesn't know what happened. Like Kennedy, it's the friend of theirs that they're, the house that they're at. She's like, why do you, or why are you so insistent on knowing the truth? Just let it go. So it just seems like someone's hiding something, but then I'm kind of like, well, maybe Chelsea did do something and just doesn't remember it. And they're just trying to protect her. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go get ready for work. And then, um, yeah, I got 60% left. I'm gonna finish this book today. It's like, like I said, it's reading really fast. Y'all, my daughter's camera holder is being stupid. Um, and also, I was literally talking while I thought I was recording, and it turns out I was not. <laughs> That's just kind of par for the course for me this week. Like, my vlogging experiences have been crazy, crazy this week. I can't keep my stuff together. Anyway, I'm on my way to the post office. I have some books that someone bought from my bingo shop. I'm dropping those at the post office and I do have some more books that I will be adding to my pango shop I did a video showing the books I'm gonna be putting in there I haven't posted it yet because I haven't got the books in my pango shop yet okay done with that this place is busy our I don't our city used to have two post office we used to have this small one and then we used to have a really kind of good decent sized one they closed it years ago and now we just have this little one. And I'm like, seriously? Like with the amount of people that live here, you need more than one post office. But it was nice because I was just able to do the kiosk things. That's one of the things I love about selling on Pango is that you can print the label, put it on your package and just go and you literally can, bro, what you doing? I'm like, okay, sorry. This like bike dude was like about to go and he didn't have a, he didn't have a thing to go, but Okay, nice turn signal. People annoy me. I hate driving anymore. People just don't know how to drive. So yeah, so you can just print 
the label, put it on your packaging, take it, and then use the little kiosk if your post office has those, um, which is nice when ours is working, so that you don't have to wait in the line for the people to actually check it in. Really quickly, um, Summer's Edge, I'm having a good time with it. So it's gone back two years from current summer. So this was a year before the fire happened and just kind of the dynamic of the friends and the like tension between all of them. So one of the guys showed up with a new girl, uninvited, like didn't even ask if he could bring anybody. So one of the other girls that's always there in the friend group likes this other guy. So there was tension between everybody. They're like, oh, you know, and of course the new girl, she's like uncomfortable because she doesn't know anybody and then she can tell there's tension going on. And so they all kind of just start nitpicking at each other and snapping at each other. And like, you could just tell like this whole friend dynamic is about to implode. So, and then Kennedy, who it's her lake house, it's her parents' lake house. She, it has little clips of her going back and remembering things from when she was little. And we get some like haunting things that she is like remembering. So that are kind of creepy, <laughs> but anyway, so I'm having a really good time with it. It's feeling like a four star at least, but we'll see how this ends because Kendall says the ending is a banger. So we'll see if the, re if the rest of the book, if I get a OMG moment out of it, then you know, it might be a five star for me. So anyway, I am heading back home and I will come back later with my final thoughts and star rating and then to close out this summerween vlog um tonight so once i'm done with this book i'm going to close out my summerween vlog because i am ready to switch over to something else since i've read so many thrillers in a row i think i want to take a little break so i'm either going to pick up a cozy mystery or um christina lauren's paradise problem so we shall see. Those are my next reads. So those obviously not will not be in my summer week vlog. They'll be in a separate vlog. Because I am doing a summer romance reading vlog and a summer thriller reading vlog. So anyway, be on the lookout for those soon. Hey friends, I am back with a final update. And to close out this summer ween vlog, today was insane. I'm finally off work. It is 5.30 at night. <laughs> I did not have time to do any updates. It's been a day. I've just had a poop day. <laughs> yeah, you know, just the adulting, adulting things. Why do we have to adult sometimes? It just sucks. So, uh, final update for Summer's Edge. I finished this last night. It did have a big twisty twist at the end, and that for sure bumped this to a five star for me. I really had a good time with this. So, obviously, I can't tell you the twist because that would just ruin everything. Again, hard to vlog thriller books without giving things away. I read a total of four books for Summerween. I did not do any of the Instagram prompts. Like I'm just now getting a little better at, at posting on Instagram. So um, I was doing good to vlog this week, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, but I still did have a lot of fun. I'm enjoying watching everyone's vlogs because there were people that were vlogging daily or every couple days again l lucky we got a week's worth out of me it may be a little bit of a longer vlog i do apologize if you stuck around for this long you're the real mvp but anyway that is it summerween is done i had a great time i read a total of four thriller books i had two three stars one four star and one five star excellent time and yeah I cannot wait till the next one. So let me know in the comments below. Did you participate in Summerween? How many books did you read if you did? Until my next video, friends, be yourself, be awesome, be kind.